In the trial of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Tuesday, the former prison warden who helped him escape in 2001 took the stand. Damaso Lopez told the jury about El Chapo's ambitions to experiment with synthetic cocaine. The two often texted, and El Chapo once asked Lopez to assassinate a cop. The hit was ordered by a local mayor. El Chapo suggested Lopez make it look like a gang member had sought revenge. So joining us now is criminal defense lawyer and former prosecutor Vinu Varghese. Vinu, you've been keeping us up to date with all things uh, going on with the El Chapo trial. And man, there was like some doozies for sure, I think. Um, first off, let us start with, as I go through my questions here, um, we heard about this, the violence within the Sinaloa cartel. And, you know, often when we talk about the case and the trial, we're sort of giggling a little because it's just so, so many wacky things. But in order to run a drug cartel, there's an awful lot of violence. Right. And, and, and Damaso here, he set, he set an example. You know, he was known as another nickname, he was known as the assassin Virgo. So he, he, he worked for El Chapo, and one day El Chapo found out that his cousin was playing hooky. His cousin mm -hmm. was out of town. His cousin's nickname was Wancho. And so his cousin said he was out of town. But like playing out, hooky from school? Playing hooky from working okay. for El Chapo. Oh, okay, okay. So instead of, instead of uh, you know, scolding him, uh, El Chapo decided to make an example of him. Mm -hmm. So Damas testified that El Chapo ordered him in and had him killed. His own cousin. His own cousin. Right. You know, they say friends keep, you know, keep your friends close, but, you know, keep your family close to death. Yeah. Oh, right? geez. So uh, he had his cousin killed and he had his secretary. That guy's secretary was also killed. Wow. Uh, because he was just with him that day. Right. So the violence is, is, you know, it's extreme. It's things that most people can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there have been tales of this. Remember, there was a witness, uh, El Chupeta. It was a rival of El Chapo's testified as testifying against him. Mm -hmm. He said he had ordered well over 100 murders. So, you know, again, you yeah. know, you have all these, you know, uh, these people coming in who are just awful, awful, awful people. Yeah. Do you think it's important for the prosecution to sort of bring that point home? I, I don't know if it contributes to the argument that he ran the Sinaloa cartel, but just to remind everyone, you see this guy, he's kind of short, he's, you know, dressed in a suit, maybe he doesn't look like a drug kingpin, just to remind them, he's a bad guy. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any uh, question they've done that job pretty well. Mm, okay. uh, you know, just witness after witness of, of bad things, of terrible, awful things that, are, that have been going on but you know speaking of suits I you know him and his wife wore matching outfits uh, yesterday. Are you serious? They, they what wore, did they wear? They both Not wore, orange did they? They both wore red velvet suits <laughs> Uh, and so, you know, nothing s says love more than trying to look like twins, you know, and things. So <laughs> right. it was a question of whether, you know, he, he was, you know, the, the, a don or like maybe look kind of like a, a smoking suit. And his wife wore the same exact thing. I, I guess they were trying to make some sort of statement, uh, I fashion statement, yeah. you know. I suggest a new stylist, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what Red Velvet says. <laughs> hey, in court, in yeah, court. exactly. But you know what? That means no more Kmart. Oh, he got, he did, he got, they were able to get, get a non Kmart suit to him in jail. So, so. speaking of love, um, his mistress or former mistress finished up her um, testimony and she talked a lot about her own story and how she ended up meeting up with uh, El Chapo and starting the relationship. And it's kind of a sad tale. Yeah, you know, drugs make you do crazy things, yeah. you know? So, like, uh, you know, it's, it's hard, you know, on one hand, you can sit there and, and look, is it sad? It's some, some sense human tragedy, but, yeah. you know, what point? could she not have walked away? She was a deputy in a town. She was known, her nickname, she had a nickname, was uh, uh, Chapo Diputada. So that was what she was known as. Really? Because she was a deputy in this town and she was with El Chapo. And everyone sort of knew it? Was that it common was knowledge? Kind of, yeah, it was kind of known. And, uh, you know, she was with, uh, you know, we talked about it last week. She yeah. was with El Chapo when they escaped and running new through the, through yeah. the tunnel. And, and, you know, he was caught a, a week later. And so. she testified that, you know, she tried to break up with him and, and, and couldn't. How does her testimony make El Chapo look other than he looks like, you know, he's cheating on his wife? I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. I'm not sure it could look any worse than all the stuff right. we've heard at this point, you know. And, yeah. and I, I think, you know, there have been some people who have postulated that the reason she's testifying, because she doesn't add anything of major value, yeah. the reason she's testifying is, is to really just rub it into the wife who wouldn't cooperate with the government. Mm. And I think that's sort of the government, you know, looking at this and going, Ha ha, right. you know, putting your husband's, you know, foibles on full display for right. all of America and the world to see. So let's talk about this bit about whether or not a border wall 
um, from sea to shining sea would really make a difference when it comes to this kind of drug trafficking. The New York Times wrote an article basically saying a border wall would be completely ineffective, right? Right. And, and you know, uh, you, you know, we've, we've uh, in that article, and they've talked about it, multiple uh, people have written about this, but you have the fact that, and this has come out during the trial, mm. You know, bringing cocaine in through tamale cans, bringing them in through regular passenger cars, bringing them in through the sea, bringing them in through rail lines, bringing them in through underground tunnels. There was a tunnel. One of the Cifuente, one of the Cifuentes brothers testified early on that there was a tunnel dug from Mexico into Arizona, and that's how they transported some of this stuff. So, you know, the question of whether it's it's really going to stop. I mean, yeah. you know, President Trump talked about stopping illegal immigration, but he also said that it was just to stop drugs. He's going to stop drugs as long as you have a demand here in the United States. Well, that they'll is find it. other ways, either through Canada or other ways to get this in. Yeah, isn't that the truth, uh, Vinu Varghese? Thank you so much.